TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. Well, by the time you see this, we won't be, man. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, we might post the highlights from the live. I don't, I don't see the point of doing that, though, because you could just go on Twitch. You could type in my name, and it'll be there, and you could just watch it yourself. You could rewatch it, fast forward. You could do whatever you want. Um, don't forget we got Patreon, man, Monday through Friday. This is the lineup, Only Fools, Line of Duty, Luther, Fresh Meat, Derek. Actually, Fresh Meat, the last episode is to, it's Thursday. Ooh, thanks, thanks. This, if there's a holiday this weekend, this week for me. Hopefully I can get all of this stuff done. All right, man, we'll see. Uh, don't forget we also got Patreon, man. I mean Patreon. We got merch. I don't got any on right now because I just watched it. Y'all be knowing I be wearing my merch all the time, man. Uh, the giant Parmo challenge that's only ever been beaten once. Beard meets food. I feel like Beard Meets Food is probably like him. Okay, there's three. Him, Joel, and uh, Randy Santel. Probably the, the top three for me at least. Like, I, I could probably be cool with them. Like, we could go kick it somewhere and it won't be awkward. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Like, they like, I feel like they all down to earth. You know? Anyway, let's get it. <laughs> My bad. Loss, come on now. <sighs> So the reason I'm watching this because I don't know if y'all know, but on TikTok I be eating like UK foods and I, I make shorts of them on and put them on YouTube sometimes if I remember. But they want me to do a giant parmo, like not a giant, but like a regular parmo, and I have no idea what that is. So any of these have you actually failed? I'm studying. This year. I don't, I don't know. Three, maybe four. Wouldn't have happened on my watch that. No no. <laughs> but with any luck, Darwin. I'll be able to bounce back strong today, become the man that you always hoped I'd be. Yeah, because I'm here. All right, you're taking the credit if I win. Yeah. Miss <laughs> okay. Beard back in the building. I ain't seen her in a minute, or heard her in the videos in a minute. If you lose. <laughs> I watched him consistently. Like, consi I'm talking about almost all of the videos I be watching. Can you uh, put a link to it? It's all on you. I don't know. I mean, it looks fairly simple to me. The pepperoni? No? What do you think, Mrs. Beard? Have I got this? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So you're not confident, I guess. All right. Let's get in there. Ooh, yeah, it's quite, quite moist today. I'm out of the car. I'm out of the car. Stop shouting at me. Boy, well, it looks like Bean means food, did he? Uh, that, yeah, that's me. I watched you do the breakfast thing the other day. Yeah. Saying that you couldn't finish it, I was. My reputation precedes me. You have a, it's a palmo challenge, right? Yes. What topping do you want on your? Ooh, you get a topping. Yeah. It's not just a classic palmo. You get it topped with something. I don't know what what what, what toppings can you have? A hot shot. So it's like pepperoni, jalapenos. Which looks the nicest? The bolognese everyone loves. I'll go with the bolognese. Yeah, I'll dodge the hot shot. Bolognese. That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I said bologna knees when I tried to put, I don't know, anyway. Oh, that's, that's probably not for me. What is a palmo? What is a palmo? Good question. Okay, here we go. Yeah. A palmo is, that's a good question for the uh, some of the international viewers. It's uh, like a chicken cutlet that you pound down, you tenderize it, then you deep fry it, and you cover it in usually bechamel sauce and cheese. So bechamel sauce, never heard of it. It's a bit like a schnitzel, but it's kind of moist on top. Also, incidentally, a lot of people might not know this, but interesting fact for you, it's one of, if not the favorite food of a friend of the channel, Mr. Randy Santel. Ah, is it? Okay. He loves it, he's obsessed with Palmos. Do you know how many people have actually tried had. it? I'll pop 50. Ooh, here it comes. It's over there. <laughs> I'm not sure the bolognese was the right choice. I've probably made it significantly heavier, but... 
Hopefully we can get it done. Yeah, easy. Yeah? Maybe. That's the first positive thing you've said all day. Right, so we're at the Huntsman in uh, Newton Aycliffe, and I'm taking on their giant palmo challenge. Costs, uh, is it 25 quid? And if you finish it inside 30 minutes, you get it half price. So far, only one person has done it. Half price? Well, how much is it? <laughs> second attempt as well. Yeah. It was the second attempt. Oof. You get some salad, coleslaw, two portions of chips and some onion rings. What do you guys reckon? You think I can finish it? Yeah. Yeah? You've had two pints already, I don't <laughs> trust you. <laughs> I know, I don't What look. happened to his saying? He doesn't say it that much anymore. But he doesn't do it no more. And I'm very disappointed in that. Like, like, what's going on? I'm thinking. Oof. Hey, that oh. looked good. That looked you know hot. what? I very rarely ever eat palmos, but I always enjoy them. Whenever I eat them, it tastes delicious. Parmo. Hey, Siri. Does anybody make parmos near me? Hmm, oh, okay, maybe. Yeah. He's a man of surprisingly good taste, it's gotta be said. When it comes to food. Anyway, not much else. I've seen his Spotify playlist. What's up, you Welcome back to another episode. Today it's a giant parmo challenge. I'll tell you, it's been a while. <laughs> this is delicious, man. This is really, really nice. I'm enjoying it too much. Woo. It can be nice, but when you get out of the So they be, they have. Oh, what's this? Lauder Hill Chicken Farm Mall? Chicken parmo, chicken parmo. Like they like. I feel like it ain't the same thing, though, man. And the this the level of disappointment that I would have if I go to a restaurant and they, and they put and they and I ask for. A, like this, I can't even see it. But it's like it's chicken. But it got like, is that it? That might be it. What was the ingredients? What was the sauce that was on it? Somebody put it in the chat, the sauce that's on it. I need to write it down. Is this, is this Mrs. Beard Cam? We're bringing it back. A lot of people really like Mrs. Beard Cam. Normally, you, uh, you use it to make fun of my shoes, but you can't see them. The table's pretty big. It look good. <laughs> no. <laughs> These are my hippie shoes. I've already finished my challenge. You got two pieces of garlic. I can see chips left on your plate. Wow. It's yummy. This is really nice. Yeah, cards on the table. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed an eating challenge this much. Like the sauce they would use in America or at, at an Italian restaurant, it would be, um, it would be like they would use red sauce or red meat sauce or something and then they would put parmesan cheese on top of it like but like that this sauce to use the uk uses is different in england anyway often the case of quantity over quality over here which i realize maybe i could make it myself maybe that's the move i gotta do this one myself man because i don't be trusting the restaurants if i go somewhere and pay and, I, and they get it wrong as is to some extent the point but it's always a plus when the food tastes particularly good maybe to be expected though since you don't get the meal free here if you win you just get it half price and i spot on the old winner's wall five minutes in and i'm, I'm still using cutlery this is a surprise to me it's a miracle he's definitely gonna beat that okay, man. Thank you. <laughs> it's hope it doesn't take me that long. It's certain challenges they they, they do that I know they're gonna be one hundred percent every time. <laughs> I think that young chap is somewhat taken aback. 
We're doing alright to be fair, 8 minutes in and the palm was almost done. Bro, I had 4 cookies, a, a turkey sandwich with turkey bacon and turkey slices, and spinach on it with UK bread, by the way, not regular, not American bread. And I had a sunny delight. And I'm talking about, bro, I almost threw up. <laughs> I almost threw up. And I really be thinking I could do these challenges. Boy, I will throw up in restaurant on plate. Like, uh, yeah, it's probably not because I was there. Ooh, this is hot. Yeah. Even though that's your room, you make it till the end. This is hot. Uh, yeah, it's probably not because I was there. Okay, that's one napkin, right? Okay. Wipes Ooh. his hands, wipes his mouth. This is hot. Wipes his hands again. Yeah. Then wipes his face, like his his eyes. Didn't even fold the napkin to the next spot. He just went from mouth to eye. Like come, like hey, li hey. Listen, <laughs> beard meets food. Like I know, like it's your bodily fluids, but at the same time, like I don't. If I wipe my mouth, I need a whole new towel to wipe sweat off or something like that. I, I'm not what. Now you got chicken parmo in your pores and all type of stuff. Are you gonna save your meat for the end? I think I might save some of the parmo for the end, you know. If you wanna leave anything, leave the chips. Leave the chips? Yeah, I'm gonna leave anything. Those are some thick fries, chips. Yeah, keep dreaming, Carbarella. Not a scrap should be left behind today, hopefully. Can't lose two on the bounce. He lost last week. I need to get rid of the paper because I don't want to eat it. Oh, come on. Yeah, sure there's no food left on it. <laughs> Show it to the gaffer. He, he can inspect it. If there's anything left that I need to finish, you just let me know. I'll dump it back on the table. Are you checking this is beard? Is it clean enough? I can I can probably do this though. Like on an empty stomach. Like I have to be on E though. I'm talking about nothing. Maybe like a maybe like something small inside it. Pause. Wow, I was about to, wow. Never mind. I don't even want to finish the sentence because it was too crazy. <laughs> right. Nah, I'm not even gonna finish it. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, we passed Mrs. Biz debris inspection. That is a relief. Almost halfway through the allotted time though. There's still plenty left to eat. Maybe I should have started with salad. Yeah. I never really know how to eat salad when it's part of a food challenge. Feels weird doing it with your hands. But it is the most efficient way to do it. Work at night? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna fist this salad in with relative haste. What did you just say? Ugh, yeah, we're just gonna fist this salad in with relative. I thought what I was about to say was crazy. It was, but but what you just said, you know what you said, man. You knew what you was doing in post edit because you did a voiceover. So you was like, hey, I'm gonna say it like this. This gonna be crazy. And I, I caught you. Relative haste. Move on to those onions. I'm gonna fist the salad in is borderline the hub. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In rings. <laughs> you were doing so well as well. I know. It was a cold on the salad that oddly, that was the part that made me messy. What time am I on? You, are on. you know who the freakiest, <laughs> the freakiest challenge eater is? It gotta be Randy. Randy be saying some crazy stuff. Like I be like, yo, Randy, you are you really lived in your college days. You did a lot of stuff because I I believe Randy when he be saying some of the stuff. He be like he'll say it and look at the camera. He'll look he'll say something about a sausage. 
eating, he, he'll say something about a hot dog and its centrifugal forces and its cinder like build and eating it and then look you in your eyes through the camera. Like that. Like, Randy is wild. So, nearly 15 minutes. Yeah, dead on the halfway point almost. This one is harder than it looks, you know, but um, it does taste tremendous. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll catch you at the next one. Let's get it! How quick did the other guy do it? I don't know. We're doing the record. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. I don't know, man. Something about the sauce might throw me off. Pause. Wow. <laughs> what? I'm telling you to, to eat. <laughs> Are you telling me to hurry up? If we're being honest, I'm probably gonna make one of these. I probably YouTube the experience, and then you know put it also on TikTok. But you know, um, it look. Oh my god! Out of context, I just figured out where I paused the video out, and she just was like swallow it. That's you know what? Let me get off this. Quick. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop. I'm stopping the video Oh. Oh, no, thank you, thanks. Yeah, I'm going to make one, put it on YouTube. Probably next week I'm going to do this. Or no, well, next week? Yeah, next week. Like the beginning of December. Because in December I plan to vlog every day, man. But TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.